Hi, I'm John Rampton. I'm here with Tom Schuster. How's it going? Excellent. Thanks, John. Excellent. Today, I wanted to talk about hiring talent. Uh, uh, there's obviously a lot of good talent out there, but a lot of people trying to hire good talent. What does it take to hire good talent in many different countries? Uh, your search metrics, you have people in many different countries. What does it take to hire the right talent in different countries, and how do you find them? Well, that's a really good question. I, I think uh, the there are great differences between the different countries. Uh, so what applies in, say, here in the States doesn't work in Germany or in others, although in the end they're all people and they have the same thoughts and you know, concerns. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, having a, a really good structured approach is uh, one of the things. Uh, I, I believe in using headhunters. I think that they, they really help you to, to reach into areas that you would never be able to get into contact with. Uh, yeah. Although you have methods like LinkedIn and others that, uh, that are open to find people uh, if, you, if you wish. Uh, I think people want to uh, join, you, you, uh, your company needs to have a really good reputation. Uh, so the, the, there must be good reasons for, for them to... Does, does culture play into that a lot? Very much so. Because I guess a person can't really see your culture till they get into it, but... Yeah. yeah, well, I think you, you, you try and project the culture of your company at the time that you're speaking to them. Uh, and, uh, but to a degree, they get that from the Internet and from, you know, from other sources, and to a degree, they get it from, from yourself. Yeah. Uh, but it's also, I think, one of the things is you hire good talent if you know what you're looking for. And that's probably often the most difficult thing, is you don't really know what you're looking for, and it's, you, it's very difficult then to judge if the person sitting opposite you yep. is the right one. And so to me, that's an iterative process. That's why I like using headhunters, because you know we'll write up a spec. I think what you've got to do is write up a spec. Uh, and I, I believe you should also write up a list of the qualities that you're looking for. So in terms of education, in terms of experience and personality, and then you rank it so that you understand what is important. And uh, based on that, your headhunter can look for better people. And then yeah. when you get the people in and they're not right, you go back to your list and say, hang on, what did I get wrong? Then you go back to your headhunter and say, okay, this is really, uh, th this I had wrong, you giving me this, I really want this. Okay. And, and through a process of iteration, you, you come down to finding the person that you really need and understanding what it is you're looking for. All right. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Ken John Rampton uh, talking today about headhunting. Thanks, guys.